Hey guys, Sergeant No Rep here, and the scores are just starting to come in for 20.2, being Monday night, um, and the scores are looking pretty good. Now, when I first saw the, the score sheet that you can see over here on the screen, um, I didn't think people would get past that 30 round mark. Obviously, if CrossFit felt there would be a lot of people uh, get past 30 rounds, uh, they would have made the scorecard a little bit bigger. Uh, but as the scores come in, we'll just switch over to that, and we'll bring that up a little bit bigger here. So here we have the leaderboard for the men. So Frederick Agidius, um, who had a real nice um, score in 20.1, uh, now is second overall. Um, and the leaderboard may change a little bit here, but he came in with uh, 1,030 reps. So to get over the 30-round um, mark, I think that was 1,020. Um, so if you look down here, we've had, I think, what, four people get over that mark. So Street Horner, uh, 1,021. Uh, Lefritis Theonandis from Greece. I want to know what's in his water there. He came in first. Um, hope there's no SARMs. Um, there came in first in uh, 20.1. Uh, now looking th at third uh, for 20.2. So maybe this is a come on year for him. Uh, a no name, Derek Saltu of the States. Uh, had a real nice score of uh, uh, 1,028. And Fred Gideus had a score of 1,030. Now, there was a little bit of controversy and I noticed on social media about Frederick Agidius' score. Um, some people asking if the reps were real reps. And I think a lot of it was the thruster. So a lot, obviously, a double under is a double under. A toter bar is a toter bar. But where the issue comes down with this is the thrusters. So is the person fully, are they coming like this or are they locking out? Uh, and is the weight uh, behind their head? Um, the cameras, it's hard to tell unless you're there. So in these situations, you put faith in the judge that's there and that they would properly no rep. Um, but for me, just to weigh in on it, I would say definitely a lot of athletes from the videos I've seen lived in the gray area. Um, so they weren't clear. I was just actually watching a video uh, with Matt Frazier. And of course, it's Matt Frazier. Um, and you could really see those elbows locking up, or this one locking out overhead. Um, where some athletes, they left some room uh, for interpretation. But again, we're going to go with the judges that were there and go from there. So that was the, the top men. Uh, we'll switch over to the women. Kristen Holte, Jamie Green, um, Carmela Sells, Hellman um, with 996. And uh, what do we got there? Atlanta Fisk. Emily Rolf, the name Haley Adams. She kind of had a little bit of a comeback. Haley Adams had her tough first event, coming in 243rd in the world, uh, but she pulled it up. It looks like it would be a sixth place in this one. And Carolyn Reason Thibault, um, she had a ninth place finish in this. So, those are the men and the women's. So, this video, I just want to go over to what Dave Castro said on Instagram, uh, both their, the thought process behind uh, making 20.2. He didn't comment on how the grass clue. Uh, relate to this but he talked about his thought process how he wanted to do something like Cindy um, but didn't think it'd be hard to judge Cindy with like the push-ups and stuff like that but I'll leave Dave uh, to explain that to you okay I just finished that 20.2 here at uh, CrossFit Hyperactive um, it was as bad as I imagined it would be uh, this is one of the ones that I didn't Quiet test. Quiet in the back, had, Dave's uh, trying to talk. Dave will have me test it. And they, they were in the 20s. Um, I was not near the 20s. That's also okay. Uh, for those wondering how this one came about, it's uh, inspired, obviously, by uh, Cindy. And actually, after the fact, when you look at some of the top scores, some of the top guys are getting... Uh, anywhere from 27, 26 to 30. And back in the day, when guys would do Cindy more often, the highest score than Cindy you'd see were around that uh, 27 to, to high 20s. Um, couldn't do Cindy here. The, uh, the judging of that would be tough. So wanted to play with some other movements. And uh, one of the new things we did was introduce the dumbbell with the thruster. And uh, also, we wanted to introduce the thruster a little earlier, so that's why you saw it in this one. Uh, pleased with the reps. I, I don't think I would have changed much 
especially after having seen the, uh, the top scores. <sighs> Next week's gonna suck. You don't like hearing Dave Castro say next week is going to suck. <sighs> anyway. But yeah, it was interesting uh, to hear him go over how he wanted to sub like Cindy. It was hard to judge um, and how he's comparing the two rep schemes. Uh, but yeah, and then one thing that we brought out here or he brought out I'd like to touch on is the introduction of the thruster at this point, by it sounds like. Usually the thruster comes out in the point five workout. Um, so last year the community got to vote and they picked the thruster, but every year before that uh, it was pretty much the thruster or some other type of movement. So it looks like 20.5 will not have thrusters, which would be a break in the trend. But you never know, Dave just might be messing with us and might put thrusters in there twice. Um, so what are your thoughts? Did you like 20.2? I think it was a great workout. Myself, I had to do a modified. I'm coming back from an Achilles tendon injury, injury, so I couldn't do the skipping. Uh, so I did kind of like a step up really quick, and then I did the other uh, two movements. I have the uh, battle scars to prove it. Um, leave comments down below what you thought of 20.2, maybe what you think uh, 20.3 will be. Uh, like, subscribe, and we'll talk to you later.